my dear viewers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marlena and today I will tell you 10 clothing pieces that I stopped wearing, 10 things that you should stop wearing when you want to be a rather sophisticated and classy, elegant and graceful woman. So let's start with number one, which are hot pants. And I mean especially jeans hot pants, but hot pants in general. And I'm not referring to shorts because I personally li love shorts and I have lots of them. But shorts are not hot pants. So I really mean those very, very short and tight and not classy and not elegant pants. Short jeans hot pants for example are something that i did wear a lot especially in the summer or in dancing in my 20s so it wasn't bad but i have to say that when i look at them today and actually i don't have them anymore i i donated everything it's not really because of the age it's also because they are just not elegant i just wouldn't consider jeans hot pants or any kind of hot pants and sophisticated just doesn't really fit second, the second thing that i stopped wearing are short and tight dresses so especially i mean short and tight <laughs> so those kind of bodycon dresses that are very tight and very short i wore them a lot in the past especially in dancing on dance parties and i mean in that environment it's something different but you also see women or girls wearing those dresses in, in bars, etc. There are dresses that are very sexy and they are tight also, but just a bit, little bit longer. And I would always advise you to, when you wear a nice, elegant tight dress, just wear one that is just a little bit longer, at least when you're going to a date or event or even to a party. There are so many examples of very elegant and at the same time sexy women who don't wear revealing short skirts and uh, dresses, for example, Monica Bellucci, um, etc. It's not necessary to show a lot of skin in order to be perceived as sexy. And at the same time, if you don't show that much skin, you will be perceived as sophisticated and graceful and elegant and this is always a better option to be sexy and elegant than to be sexy and you know number three is not a clothing piece but it refers to all the clothing pieces that i'm using and it's bad materials so i totally stopped or almost stopped wearing uh, artificial material so i have only a few pieces like this for example this is one of the few pieces that i have that are polyester or a mix of polyester and viscose and that is not for example a purely natural material such as silk i just step by step stopped buying artificial materials in ver with very few exceptions and started buying natural materials as i said silk cashmere wool linen viscose or fine cotton it makes a big difference in certain clothing pieces especially sweaters there is a big difference if you wear a polyester sweater especially after the washing process and if you wear a cashmere sweater of course there is also a big price difference but I would just advise you to look for sales and to go for quality over quantity, meaning save up for one nice cashmere piece instead of five cheap polyester sweaters, for example. You will always look more expensive, more classy and more sophisticated when you wear high quality material. Number four, the patterns, cheap patterns big or small but not nice looking flowers i love flowers on clothing but you know there are flowers and there are flowers 
So the patterns can really make a difference in the appearance. And then also other strange artificial patterns. Patterns that will always look elegant and sophisticated are, for example, polka dots. And also stripes might look very sophisticated and elegant. And flowers can also look elegant, but you have to pay attention to, to the specific flower pattern. And there are also chain patterns. They can also look sophisticated. But when in doubt, try to avoid patterns that you are not really sure about. Number five, I stopped wearing neon colors. And I was wearing neon colors in the past, not only during my teens, but also, for example, in, on parties or on dance parties. And I don't mean I love colors. And there are specific colors that are in my color palette that go very well with my complexion, such as blue, for example, or also a pink, but, or a nice bluish green. But although those are strong colors, those are not those neon colors that are very, very bright and unnatural. Number six are clothing pieces and shoes with metal details. Most metal details that are with shoes or with clothing look not graceful and not sophisticated and sometimes cheap. So just to be on the safe side, avoid metal pieces on shoes and on clothing as well. Number seven, another clothing piece that I stopped wearing at least in the normal daily situations, are leggings. Although leggings are a nice accessory, combined with, for example, a long tunic or shorter dresses, I wouldn't wear them as a pants. You see that very often on the street, girls or women who are wearing leggings as pants, as normal pants. And I mean yoga pants, like sporty leggings. And this will never look elegant and graceful. Another clothing aspect that I stopped wearing flashy brands. I think in the past I had some clothing pieces that had a very visible brand name on them. And this is something that I wouldn't buy, want anymore. And I know that there are designer pieces that have like the brand name on the t-shirt, for example. And I think that's not sophisticated and classy at all. Number nine, I stopped wearing worn out clothes. Even if I liked this clothing pieces and they were actually nice, a nice shape, etc. I had some pieces that I had to say goodbye to because they were just worn out or they weren't in a good quality in the first place. And although they flattered my body and they looked actually nice, they revealed a bad quality. And that's why I stopped wearing them. Number 10 is I stopped wearing animal prints. I mean, animal prints can look elegant, but in most cases and on most clothing pieces, they don't. If we are honest, you can pull off animal prints, but then I would rather use animal prints in smaller pieces, like, such as in accessories or maybe in one statement piece that is of a very good quality, a very nice and high quality shape. In most cases, animal prints on clothing downgrade the cloth and make it appear cheaper. So that was it. Those were the 10 things that I stopped wearing in order to be more sophisticated and to look more elegant and graceful. I hope that this video was interesting for you and maybe also inspirational. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.